Drones have gone far from their initial use for surveillance. The success of Azerbaijan's used drones during its recent war with Armenia has captured the attention of many of the world's military powers and accelerated the steps towards a generation of smaller, cheaper, and easy to operate. Unmanned Aerial Vehicles UAV. Even the major Western military power, such as Britain, has signaled a coming change in their drone strategy after watching the destruction of Armenian forces and traditional ground combat vehicles by the Azerbaijani aircraft during the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Specialists predict that fast drone proliferation can mark a turning point in warfare, and given how vulnerable some vehicles are against small drone attacks, can cause wholesale changes in how the land battle campaign is carried out or fought. The military continues to expand the capability of drones and integrate it into their operations. A single Predator or Reaper drone will have many people involved with its flight and decision-making. Not only does this drone need a maintenance crew to fix it, but each drone also requires a human pilot on the ground to fly it. Predix drones, on the other hand, communicate independently with each other and use collective decision-making to coordinate movements, find the best way to reach targets, and even fly in formation and heal themselves all without needing humans telling them. Drones don't feel G-force or experience the same desire for self-preservation. They can take risks and do the best maneuvers even the best humans can't do. Unmanned Aerial Combat Vehicles UCAVs, are the future of warfare because they can stealthily penetrate enemy airspaces with explosive payload and missiles. UCAVs with a sophisticated navigation slash control feature combined with high optical day slash night vision sensors are a deadly weapon against enemy targets in any of any offensive roles. These can involve air-to-surface or air-to-air -air targets. With their unprecedented reconnaissance skills and the ability to track the target for hours, drones have become the real deal. Drones have the military role of supply mole, for example, for the fast delivery of replenishment materials to troops lying in inaccessible regions. Furthermore, the police have inducted drones, especially for the role of surveillance. The potency that has been achieved by combat drones is changing the way the war is being fought today and will continue to do so in the future. The impact of the UCAVS will not only be seen in conventional wars, but also in the tactical responses to the threats from armed militant networks and other non-conventional targets. Combat Plane Vis Air Drones Very soon, artificial intelligence AI, in the Flying Drone Unit and their ground control station GCS will be able to provide enhanced air warfare abilities such as target identification, optimal attack maneuvers, target tracking, and autonomous combat engagement etc. technically, with some more progress in drone technology supported by AI. It is only a matter of time before UCAVs can replace fighter jets in several Air Force operations areas. Thus, the era of dog battles by fighter jets to achieve air supremacy during a skirmish is slowly coming to an end, with a shift in focus now to making combat jets less radar detectable, rather than trying to run supersonic air or air or anti-craft missiles. The proliferation of drones has been rapid since the turn of the century. Military forces in about 90 countries currently operate UAVs for anti-aircraft target practices, intelligence, communication, reconnaissance, surveillance, and strike. 10 to 15 other countries either have armed drones or are in the process of arming them. With many countries struggling to have more advanced drones, the unmanned-slash-man ratio of major air forces might be around 50 50ths or more in 20 years. Also, the world is flooded with cheap civilian drones, some of which rivals or exceeds more expensive military ones in capability. Non-state actors and some militant networks are known to have employed commercially manufactured fixed-wing drones for surveillance. Some groups in the world's conflict zones have even armed consumer drones with weapons, which is not difficult to do, and use them for attacks. Swarm Attacks With a great number of military technologists now working on drone swarms, they could soon be the cheapest way to conduct various types of air missions. The hardware is already available and may not be too long before the technologist manages to allow a large number of individual drones to serve as a cohesive and integrated unit. In a true drone swarm, every drone is partially or fully autonomous. One of the most significant tests of the swarm was carried out in October 2016. In it, the 103 Robin-sized MicroPredix drone was launched from three S-A-18 Super Hornet fighter jets and showed advanced behavior such as collective decision-making, adaptive formation flying, and self-healing formation. According to the U.S. Department of Defense, Predix are not pre-programmed synchronized individuals, 
but are collective organisms, sharing one brain for decision-making and adapting to each other such as swarms in nature. Because every predix communicates and collaborates with every other predix, the swarm does not have a leader and will gracefully adapt to the entry and exit of drones in the team. Since then, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Project Agency DARPA, has tried to give drone swarms the ability to work together and achieve mission objectives, even when GPS are offline and communications are unavailable. Loitering Munitions Loitering munitions are drones equipped with ultra-high resolution and an infrared camera that allows a soldier to keep explosives on hold in the air while they identify and watch the target before striking at the ideal time. They are also known as suicide drones or kamikaze drones because they are programmed to explode on impact without the intention to recover. Countries like the US, Israel, China, South Korea, Turkey, Poland, and Iran already have or want to invest in loitering munitions because they can be seen as an affordable alternative to very expensive missiles or drones. This is because basically it is a cheaper missile, guided by the brain of a drone that allows visual monitoring, targeting, timing, and strike without hope of getting it back. UAV Makers China is a top exporter. At least 10 countries, including Nigeria and the United Arab Emirates, have used Chinese-made UAVs to kill enemies. Turkish UAVs Turkey has also emerged as a drone powerhouse. Bayraktar TB2, a 21-foot armed UAV with four laser-guided missiles, first achieved international attention in Syria in February 2020. After 36 Turkish troops were killed in a Syrian government airstrike, Turkey used a fleet of radio-guided TP2S, which are quiet and hard to spot on radar, to destroy the Russian-made air defense and kill hundreds, maybe thousands of Syrian forces. TB2S also proved important in the Libyan civil war last year, helping the central government repel the attack on the capital, Tripoli, by rebel forces led by Khalifa Haftar. As several technological development paths are chased, some fears have surfaced. Firstly, experts worry that UAV proliferation can make bloody conflicts more common because countries that are reluctant to start a war and risk their soldiers will not hesitate to send drones. While countries and non-state actors will come into possession of greater weaponized drones, they will begin to restructure the battlefield in new and dangerous ways. There's also the fear that UAVs will reduce the public influence on the use of force by the government. The more countries fight with drones, the fewer people they need to sacrifice. This separates the public from the cost of war, reducing government needs to obtain their people's permission before using force in their names, which creates potential problems. There is one question that surfaces. How should we regulate future autonomous weapons? Now that drones are beginning to reshape the battlefield and starting to think for themselves. From the cluster bomb drone to swarm drones and kamikaze drones, is the world ready or even capable to deal with threats drones like these possess? especially as autonomous technology is improved and integrated with them.